Hello everybody and welcome to another week of McQueen's Lightning News, the place to be to know what's going on in my classes for the week of February 19th. We have no school on Monday for President's Day, so I hope you enjoy that day off. And families, we have our first round of parent-teacher conferences on Wednesday. Let's get to it. Let's get into what's going on in my classes for this week. Sixth grade, you guys have a quiz early this week. Um, we're also gonna keep working on our ancient China invention projects and present those. And hopefully we'll have time to start our last ancient or revised civilization of uh, ancient India. Seventh grade, uh, we're gonna get into medieval manor, manners and cities, uh, the rise of the nation state or the modern day country, uh, and maybe even start the crusades. Eighth grade, we're gonna work through Lewis and Clark and the Louisiana Purchase, um, as well as start a really good project uh, about those topics. Uh, it's second semester, we've started a new global competition uh, for this semester. I'm gonna put that uh, global score right over here. Uh, it's early, uh, but the winners from the first semester, 8B, already have a good lead and a good start, so hopefully the other classes can catch up. Let's get to our interview. All right, everybody here. I am here today with current eighth grader, future alumni, Avery Shiv Chavez. Um, Avery, what is one of your favorite memories of your time here at St. Paul School? Oh gosh, I have a lot. Um, I, I guess I'd have to say though, um, just the overall um, experience, even though the experience wasn't pleasant, it's still a fun memory of just uh, the school uh, shut down and doing all the virtual stuff. I, I probably shouldn't, but I kind of look back on it nostalgically. Sure. Yeah, that's a definitely memorable time, right? Yeah. Um, what advice might you have for the people that you're leaving behind, future eighth graders and everybody else here at St. Paul's? There is so much you will experience at St. Paul's. I mean, I could tell, I could go through for so long just talking about all the different emotions, all the different experiences I had, all of that. And so you really, you really. Uh, if you really put a lot into it, then you're gonna get so much out of it. That's great advice, man. Um, so you're going to high school, but what do you hope for, for your future beyond that? Um, what are you thinking? I've always wanted uh, and been enticed at owning my own uh, financial agency. So I was thinking that I would go to college, possibly get an MBA or something like that, and then open my own financial agency. That's great, that's awesome. Yeah, I yeah. hope you can do that, man. Thank All you. right, so I have a question for you. Okay. This is new, you've not heard this before. Oh, no, okay? I'm scared. So, there are 30 cows in a field okay. and 28 chickens. How many didn't? Two. No. Oh, 10. 10. 10. ten. ten. Yeah, 10. 28 chickens. That's right. the oldest riddle in the Let's see if you book. know why. Now it's time for our question of the week. Last week's question was about the national animal of Scotland. Um, I got a couple of answers here, but none were correct. Uh, the national animal of Scotland is the unicorn. I think our, our guest hosts are two for two and stumping everybody uh, on their questions. This week's question um, is kind of a debate, uh, but I wanna see how you guys think here. If a net gets torn, does it have more or fewer holes? Hmm. Come to me with your thoughts um, and I will pick somebody from you know the most popular answer. Good luck. That brings this episode to an end. Thank you so much for watching another episode of McQueen's Lightning News. We will end with a quote. Life has no remote. Get up and change it yourself. And as always, people, remember that every day is a good day to have a great day. I will see you all this week.